after a 10% discount, an article is sold for $360. The price before the discount was. So to do this, we, we can we can let the price of the, the original price be X. Then ten percent discount will be ten over hundred, ten over hundred times X, ten over hundred times X, which is the same as zero point one X, zero point one X, because ten over hundred is the same as one over ten. Is 0.1x now the when you apply the discount to this you have to subtract the discount from the original price x minus 0.0.1x 0.1x and this is equal to 360 dollars 360 so now we simplify this it is the same as 1 x minus 0 0.1 x so 1 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.9 so we have 0 0.9 0 0.9 x 0 0.9 x is equal to 360 now to clear the decimal let us multiply through by 10 so multiply this by 10 you get 9x to get 9x then if you multiply 360 by 10 you get 3600 3600 now I divide through by divide through by 9 so we have 9x over 9 is equal to 3600 over 9 so this will cater for this now we are left with x is equal to 9 goes into itself once and 9 goes into 36 4 times so we are going to get 400 400 dollars so the original price is 400 dollars the correct answer is D Another way you can do it is to simply subtract 10% from 100%. So 10%, 10% minus 100% will be equal to 90%. 90%. So 90%, 90% of x is equal to 360 then you solve for x and you get the same answer as 400 my dear students if you want to support me so that i'll keep producing more videos i would like you to go to the description below and click this link and subscribe to my second channel so if you click the link it will take you here if you see that this is still red then you click it but if it is not red it means you have already subscribed that is all i want from you now a store charges six percent fat on all sales what is the total cost of a shirt marked at thirty dollars so fat is equal to six percent fat is six percent fat means value added tax is six percent so we want to find the total cost of a share that is marked at thirty dollars so fat is equal to six 
percent so six over hundred six over hundred of the cost the cost of the shared is 30 six percent of 30 and this is equal to you know this will cancel this then three will go into so this will be equal to 80 so this is let me simplify for you to see let me simplify step by step so this will cancel this then we are getting 18 over 10 18 over 10 18 over 10 and that will be equal to 0 0.8 0 uh, 1.8 dollars that is 1.8 dollars point eight dollars then the, the price of the item is 30 so the total cost of the item total cost of item TC total cost will be equal to will be equal to the price of the item plus the tax the tax will add to the price the tax will increase the price so 1.8 dollars so this is in dollars and this will be equal to 31.8 dollars 31.8 dollars 31.8 dollars don't forget that 31.8 is the same as 31.80 so the correct answer the correct answer is this another way you can do it is just add the six percent to hundred then use it to multiply the 30 so six percent plus hundred will be 106 percent 106 percent times 30 and this should give you the same result as 31.0 so this is a quick way of doing it so you get 1.0 system 30 and that will give you 31.80 a shopkeeper buys 48 radios for a wholesale a wholesale price of 7200 at what price per radio must he sell to make a profit of 15% on his cost so we are going to apply the shortcut method here the one that i was talking about in the previous example so we just add 15 percent to 100 percent and that will give us 115 percent so 100 percent 100 percent plus plus 15 percent will be equal to will be equal to 115 percent 115 percent and 115 percent is the same as 1.1.15 percent 1.15 so the shopkeeper wants to make a 15 percent profit want to make a 15 percent profit so it means we multiply 1.15 by 7200 to know the price that he must sell in order to make 15% profit. So if you multiply, so sales price, selling price, selling price of all the 48 items should be equal to of selling price for all the 48 items should be equal to 1.1.15 times times 7200 1.15 times 7200 and this is supposed to give you let's go step by step so this is the same as this is the same as 115 1 okay 1. Point. okay let me just explain to you 
you know 1.15 means 115 over 100 then that 100 will cancel this so we get 115 115 times 72 115 times 72 so let's keep this like this because we are not using calculator so let's keep it like this this is the selling price this is our selling price of all the 48 items now we want to find the price per each radio price per radio but you know there are how many radios there are 48 radios so to find the price price per radio price per radio find the price per radio we divide the, to the total selling price by 48 so we have 115 115 times 72 times 72 over this is 72 sorry 72 72 over 48 over 48 so let's go step by step and cancel so let's cancel and see mm, i know 12 can go into 72 three times and 12 can go into 48 i mean 12 can go into 72 six times six times and 12 can go into 48 four times now now 2 can still go so 2 will go into 6 how many times 2 will go into 6 3 times and 2 will go into 4 2 times so now let's multiply 3 by 115 3 times 115, 3, 115, so 5, remainder 1, 3, 1, 3, plus that 1, which will give us 4, then 3, 1, 3, over 2, over 2, so You know, 2 will go into 34, how many times? 17. 2 will go into 34, 17 times. Then we are left with 5. 2 will go into 5, how many times? 2.5. So that will be 2.5. So that will be. $172.50 that will be the correct answer the interest rate on investment in a bank decreased from 8.5% per annum to 6% per annum the difference in annual interest rate on a deposit of 2000 is so I will show you a quick method of doing this so the initial rate is eight and half and down it has decreased to six. So the difference is eight and half, eight and half minus six. And this will give you two and half. Two and half. So to find the difference in the annual interest on the deposit of this, we can find the interest by applying this to this then applying this to this then subtract but we could also subtract the interest rates and multiply the result by this it will give you the same result so the difference in annual interest rate the difference in annual interest rates the difference in annual interest on this will be equal to difference i'm using this for the difference we equal to two 0.5 percent 2.5 percent 2.5 don't forget all these things are having percent over here this is percent and this is also percent 
means also percent. So, 2% times 2,000. 2% times 2,000. Now, uh, I mean 2.5, sorry for. So, 2.5% means 2.5 over 100. 2.5 over 100 times 2,000. Times 2,000. So, you know, we can cancel this. We are led to 20. So 20 times 2.5. Let me go step by step. I don't want to skip. So this will cancel this and it will give us 20. 2.5 times 20 will give us 50. So this will be equal to $50. $50. So this is the correct answer is this. The mark price the mark price of a stove was $520 so that's the mark price is $520 mark price is A worker bought the stove on high pages by making a down payment of 100. So down payment is 100. And 12 monthly installments of 40 each. $40 each. So out of A down payment of this hundred dollars and twelve monthly and twelve monthly payment of this. So now at the end of the twelve months, the monthly payment. So install payment in installment payment in installment will be equal to the base. Forty dollars every month. So in twelve months, it's going to pay twelve times forty. Twelve times forty, which is equal to, you know, twelve for forty-eight. So twelve times forty will be forty-eight dollars. I mean, four hundred eighty dollars. So the total payment made on high pages total payment on high pitches on high pitches on high pitches is 480 plus 100 100 plus 480 and this will be equal to this will be equal to 580 so if you had paid instantly you would have paid 520 so that would have been the savings would have been you would have saved you would have saved the amount that he pay right now minus the amount is supposed to pay instantly so 580 minus 520 and it's 520 and that will be equal to 60 60 dollars so you would have saved 60 dollars how much simple interest is due on a loan of 120 for two years if the annual interest rate of the annual rate of interest is five and a half percent so we know that interest is equal to P R T P R T where R is in percentage or you can write over hundred so let's go the principal is 120 let's substitute 120 
times the rate is five and a half. Then times the number of years, which is two, all over hundred. So let's go now. Let's convert. Let's convert five whole number one over two to mixed numbers, and that will give us. 11 11 over 2 because you multiply 5 by 2 to give you 10 plus 1 which is 11 over the denominator which is 2 then times times 2 times 2 all over 100 so let's see how we can simplify this step by step so this will cancel this okay. So you, you know multiply by eleven just add so one plus two is three so one three two so you add and insert the result over there then twenty so thirteen twenty over hundred thirteen twenty over hundred and we know when you are divided by hundred we move the decimal point two so we have one two so this will be equal to this will be equal to thirteen 13.20 so the correct answer is is this b the water authority charges ten dollars per month for the meter rent 2.5 for the first thousand liters and 0.1 dollars for each additional hundred liters what is the total bill for 2500 liters in a month so in one month so for the whole month let's calculate the charge the charge is 10 percent so that is a fixed charge for the whole month so fix fixed monthly charge is ten is ten dollars now they say two point five for the first thousand liters so if we charge two point five for the first thousand liters first thousand liters charge so first thousand liters charge First thousand liters charge is equal to two point five dollars. Two point five dollars. Now, when you charge two point five for the first thousand liters, we are left with so amount left, amount left, amount left is equal to amount left will be equal to two thousand five hundred. 2500 minus 1000 minus 1000 and this will be equal to 1500 1500 and we're told that 0 0.1 for each additional 100 units if you have 100 units you have 0 0.1 if you have 200 units you have 0 0.2 so to find the charge for 1500 0 0.1 1500 divided by 100 why are we divided by why are we dividing by 100 because we charge 0 0.1 for each additional 100 liters so it means the 1500 liters is in actual fact 15 additional 100 
leakers and that will be equal to that will be equal to 0 0.1 0 0.1 times 15 and that will give us 1.5 1.5 dollars so the total charge the total the total bill will be equal to total bill will be equal to 10 plus 2.5 plus 1.5 10 plus 2.5 plus 1.5 and you know 1.5 plus 2.5 is 4 plus 10 is 14 so this will be equal to 14 dollars the total will be is 14 dollars so the correct answer is this now we move on if US dollars is if we have if you have one US dollars you can take this 2.68 is dollars so we want to find how much in US dollars that one will get for 100 EC dollars so how are you going to do that we are going to use ratio to do that if one so one corresponds to one correspond to 2.68 one correspond to 2.68 and how much for 100 100 correspond to so this is for ec this is for ec and this is for us So it's for EC and it's for US. So let's represent this by X. We don't know. But we know that the this is going to increase. This value is going to increase because one corresponds to 2.68. So if this has increased to 100, this must also increase. So if it is going to be more than this, then less of this must divide. If more, less divides. So x will be equal to x will be equal to hundred hundred times one hundred times one so hundred EC hundred EC times one US dollars so we cancel now and simplify to obtain Hundred over hundred over two point six eight US dollars. Two point six eight US dollars. So this is US dollars. Okay. And this will give us this will give us this will give us US dollars. Is yes, there is 37, 37.31. So the correct answer is this. So we have the universal set to be this, and we have the set S to be this. We want to find S complement. So S complement are elements in the investor set that are not here so let me rewrite the investor set again so u is equal to is equal to one two three four five six seven eight 
9 and 10. Now, the set S has element 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, the complement of set S, the complement of set S denoted as S prime is equal to elements that are in the universal set that cannot be found here. So, let's cancel out all the elements that are here and also here. So, these are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the remaining are the complements. These are 1, 2, 3, 9, 10. So the correct answer is D. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And also subscribe so that the next time I upload a new video, you'll be able to be informed and you can get access to it. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.